The way we test it is like this. It is especially my proximal hand that makes the movement, and the distal hand, and my upper arm and thorax fixate the forearm of the patient. The elbow is in slight flexion, and I'm going to move into Valka's direction. Move back, move back. And this is the joint play. That is absolutely normal. It's a few degrees. And then slowly we go into extension. And as you can see, the movement gets less, 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 less. And in extension, there is no more valgus. So you can compare it with the knee. It's the same situation. The valgus and varus movement disappear during when you go uh, towards extension. And in maximal extension, it's completely gone. So what we're testing, actually, is the ulnar collateral ligament. And this ligament consists of three different parts. An anterior part, a middle part, and a posterior part. And it's the anterior part that's tested in extension, because it restrains extension. And the other two parts are tested when we go towards flexion, or the other way around, when we start in flexion and go towards extension. Then it's first the posterior and middle part, and in extension the anterior part. Well, varus instability is much more rare, so we don't test it in the basic examination, or during the basic examination. 